Hello, welcome to my fourth video in my computer science series. As you can see, I have already set up the skeleton code along with the problems, the practice exercises that we will be practicing with today. So the last few videos have been about learning content. Today we will get to see more of it and we get to practice. All right, let's start with the first problem. Please set up your skeleton code first like this. Oh yeah, I forgot to put one thing. Just a second. Let's start. First, we're going to figure out whether the number that the user enters is positive or negative. So first, we're going to prompt the user to enter a whole number. So we store this in an integer variable int. Let's just call it user num for now. And we're going to make it equal to console.next int. Alright. Now that the user has entered a number, we're going to determine whether it's positive, negative, or even zero. So let's start with our first if statement. If user num, the number that the user entered, is equal to, now we're comparing things here. We're not making them equal to each other. That's why we need two equal signs. I will have another video on why one equal sign is used when two equal signs is not. All right. Is equal to. Or actually, we don't do equal to. We do less than zero. Because we're trying to find something that's less than zero, so we can say that it's a negative. System dot out dot. We're going to print that it's negative. We're going to put another condition now, not else. Else if user num. What if it's greater than zero? See, the computer first looks at this, and if this is true, it won't look at the rest. But if this is not true, it's going to go to this. Then we're going to print, now it's positive. Alright, now we're going to put else, because there's only one condition. Alright, see, this is how we did it. We used user input and if else statements to construct the code. Now let's test if it works. See? It works. Alright, let's move on to the next problem. Get a number from 1 to 7 from the user and figure out what day of the week it is today. Alright. This is going to take some if self st statements, but don't worry, we can do it. First, let's prompt them. When you're trying to collect user input, you always need to prompt them with the print statement as what you're asking for. Again, we're going to do console.next int. Alright, let's start with our gi ginormous list of if self if statements. If Sunday. Now we're going to do 
else it. We're going to keep doing else it. video and do this if you want. We will learn a shortcut to these type of problems later on. Done. Now we just have to put else because there's only one condition left. All right, let's block comment this top part first and then we'll test our code. Enter a number from 1 to 7. See? It works. In the event that your code does not work, you should debug it. Like, find the problems and try to figure out what you can do. It's always right to ask for help. Get seeking help from an adult if you need. Alright, let's block comment this. Block commenting is so much easier than line commenting. Now, the next problem. Input five numbers and figure out the sum and the average. Sorry, I spelled sum the wrong way. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to ask the user to enter five numbers at once. We're going to ask them to enter them one by one. Okay. Let's prompt them first. And let's create the variables. Now, in this case, we have more than one console.next in, so let's do console.next line to ensure that it asks for it. Let's just do copy and paste. Because I feel that would be easier. If we don't need the console.next lines, we'll always just get rid of them. 
Oh, right. Now, let's store the sum in another variable. So, int sum is equal to, we're going to add these variables together. First, num, second, second. All right. Now, let's print this variable sum. Alright, now let's find the average of them. We're gonna do Actually, we should do a double variable for this, because the average might not be an integer always. Add them together. Or actually, we'll just do sum. We'll put the variable sum and we'll divide that by 5 to get the average. Now we're going to print the average. Enter number. For example, if I enter one, two, three, four, five, and it gave me the sum of them and the average. I hope you learned a couple of exercises from these videos. Please like and subscribe, do give feedback on my website, and please tell your friends about this channel. I hope they'll enjoy it. Bye!